How do you calculate basis points? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for almost a decade now, and we're here to talk about uh, what basis points are and how you actually use them. Uh, it is a very, can be a complicated uh, topic, but the foundation is understanding the definition of a basis point. You actually use it in certain commission scenarios as well as being able to reflect the change in interest rates. Now, one basis point is a very small number. By definition, it is one one hundredth of one percent. Now, we know one percent is small enough as it is, but one one hundredth of that is even smaller. One one hundredth of one percent is 0 0.01 percent, which is, again, very, very small, but it's 0 0.0001. You have to shift the decimal to the left four places to help figure out some things. Now, for an example, if you wanted to figure out a commission of, let's just say, $500,000, if you multiply by how much a basis point is worth, you take 500000 and you multiply by 0 .0001, and you will get uh, $50. Now, like I said earlier, you can also use basis points to reflect change in interest rates. Now, but you have to be given what the starting interest rate is, otherwise you have nothing to go on. Now, let's just say your starting interest rate was 5% and you're working off of 0.5 basis points. What that basically means there is, if you have a deduction of an interest rate of 0.5 BPS, what you can do is take the 5 and then subtract 0 0.50, which is going to end up giving you 4.5 percent. Now, if there's an increase, all you need to do is take the 5 and add 0 0.5 to it, and that'll give you 5.5 percent interest rate. So basis points can definitely be used as well, in addition to commission, to reflect changes in interest rates. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that is how you calculate basis points and how to use them.